Hi everyone, and today I am going to be filming my collective haul. It's kind of an even, actually that's a lie, I don't know if it's an even split, but it's a mixture of um, beauty products and um, clothing and then a couple of um, little extras as well. Um, so I'm going to get started with all my beauty products. I've kind of had them in... I've had them in this... <laughs> crate for the past couple of days and um, just trying to kind of remember everything that I've bought because I don't go and buy it all at one time so this is my crate um, so it's full of nice things for me to show you so I'm just going to kind of have a rummage through and show you what I've got um, the first things were um, I did a little feel unique order they were massively talked about things that I had to get um, and I got the uh, L'Occitane, I can't, no one says it the same, um, so I'm a bit um, <laughs> not sure how to say it, but um, it's the L'Occitane uh, Almond Shower Oil, and it is so, so lovely, it makes your skin so soft. The second thing is the Caudalie uh, Beauty Elixir, um, yeah, I, I don't really know how I feel about this. I use the Simple Moisture, Mist, moisture Hydro Boost thingy. Um, on a daily basis and it gives my skin like the most dewy glow ever and it's gorgeous um, and I kind of wanted it to have more skincare benefits so that's why I purchased this and I just kind of use them together and it's nice I'm not sold on the smell I don't think it smells great lots of people love it but that kind of minty herbal scent is not for me um, but I do kind of just like spraying out my skin I don't know if it's made any difference as of yet because my skin has been quite bad recently because I wasn't eating really well and um, it's starting to clear up now because I am eating quite well but um, until it kind of calms down um, and then I'll stop using this for a bit and start using it again until I start doing that I can't really tell whether it actually has a really good effect on my skin but I'll let you, I'll keep you posted on that one the second thing um, or the next three things I got um, were gifts from my parents when they came back from oh my god um, were gifts from my parents when they came back from Paris um, and I got this is the little free sample that came with it so it's the Bioderma um, solution for oily combination skin and then I got two big bottles of Bioderma which I really really love lots of people don't rate it because it doesn't take off makeup in seconds like lots of people say it does but it is the quickest thing for taking off um, eye makeup it's not really really quick like I do quite a bit of rubbing around um, but it is so quick and so gentle and that's something that face wipes or other cleansers really weren't doing for me so I absolutely love these they are great just remembered I've got another um, feel unique product and um, it is the Gemma Kid Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream which I got a couple of weeks ago and I used it in my um, everyday makeup video um, and that is really great I love it it just gives such a lovely subtle glow um, I got it in rose gold and it was really really suits my skin tone so um, I really really love that and um, the next things I got were just kind of little beauty bits so I picked up the Vaseline rosy lips uh, thingy which I most of the time have really red lips so it just doesn't it's just like an added bit of red but if I'm having more of a nude day that really does kind of make them just look a bit healthier which is great um, I also picked up the um, SE nail polishes from their diffusion line and I got cute as a button which I currently have on my toes and it is gorgeous it is such a lovely summer colour and I haven't actually used this one yet and um, what's it called it's called big spender because everyone went for um, another one which is very similar to this but I kind of wanted it just a bit darker um, and I just really 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 love this. It's the next thing I got is the um, Clinique, uh, what's it called? Clinique Long Last Gloss Wear SPF 15. Couldn't have had a catchy little one liner for that. Um, so this is really really lovely. Um, it, the main reason I got it is because I love the colour, it's just kind of gives a nice pink sheen and it's got SPF 15 in it and I found it on the hotter days um, when we went out my lips were getting quite dry or hurting because they were kind of getting a little bit burnt so I decided to kind of go for something that could kind of help out with that so I picked that one. The next thing I picked up um, are the Real Techniques Core Collection which comes in this really really nice little, well 
some people have nicer but for the fact that it's thrown in it is a really really nice little pouch um, just for your makeup brushes and I've added a couple of my own in there because I'm currently um, packing for my holiday so there's a couple of like MAC ones and Avon ones in there but um, it was these these three over here and this brush here um, that came with it and I really like all of them um, the buffing brush is amazing and that's going to go back in my travel makeup bag and depending on when I post which video you may have seen this already along with a couple of other bits um, the next things I got were from Space NK um, I picked these up a couple of weeks ago and I got you would have seen this already if you watched my everyday makeup uh, the Laura Mercier um, tinted moisturiser and it's the oil free one in four and I don't know if you can see that um, and I really really love that like I said in my everyday makeup it's gorgeous I just absolutely love it I can't rate it highly enough at first I wasn't sure how much I liked it and then I realised I've worn it every day and wasn't even considering anything else so I really do like it I then picked up the um, Nukes um, it's basically a multi-use body oil so for your hair um, for your the rest of your body and for your face um, I really like it on my face it's just quite hydrating um, and I did plan on taking it I bought it to take on um, the plane with me when we go on holiday um, but since then I, I kind of have just gone for a really because my my travel tubes were um, quite are still quite big because um, obviously you want to do you do sometimes want a lot of product to take with you in a small space um, but I didn't really need that much space for to put a few sprays of this into so I've decided to take a different travel oil but I think I might still pack this in my suitcase just to have something that I can use on my hair because that um, m could get quite dry when I'm on holiday so it will need just a little bit of extra help that is it for beauty products and uh, so I'm going to move on to clothes now and a lot of it is kind of holiday stuff so I apologise if you're not going on holiday and I'm making you feel really depressed the next thing I got uh, was Inside Out which was great um, it's just this t-shirt from a shop called Dirty Harrow's in Brighton and um, I saw this on my friend G's blog um, and I'll link her below because I really really like her <laughs> uh, she's great um, and I saw this and she knew she knew that I was going to get it um, so when she saw me the next day and I was like you don't mind do you <laughs> she was like I knew um, but we got this from Dirty Harry's and mine in a, a small and it's just really comfy and really 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 cute so um, yeah I really love this it was only like £12 as well which is great um, the next thing I got was from Urban Outfitters after payday and it is this tie dye um, vest top and it's really lovely because it's got this back that has kind of like a big gaping back and twisted um, bits there and I just really love it I think it's gorgeous and um, I can't wait to wear it on holiday it's really nice to wear when you're in the UK as well which is great so it's not just going to be one of those things that I will only wear um, on holiday so I really like that um, the next thing I picked up was from Topshop and it is this pink jumper which you will have seen me wear in um, oh what is why do I forget the name of the video um, you will have seen me wear it in my everyday makeup video um, and it's so so snuggly and cute and I never wear pink there is something seriously wrong with me because recently I've bought like pink things and yellow things and I hate pink and yellow so I really don't know what's going on with me um, but it's the mink, it's the pink version of the mint green jumper that Topshop do and I jumped at the chance to get this because it's just gorgeous um, and the next thing I bought is one of like I can't decide which um, I of the I, the last few items I'm going to show you is my favourite I really can't decide um, they're just all amazing um, I picked this up from Zara um, I don't know which way around it's going okay this is the front so I picked this up from Zara it's just a white dress with the frill at the waist and it doesn't look like anything special when I hold it up but on it is just amazing they do it in like a bright royal blue um, a coral and a black as well and it is just absolutely beautiful um, with a town on holiday this will just be amazing and I can't wait to get really drunk and just dance about in it a lot the only thing is I would just have to try not um, to get uh, loads of stuff down it because me and white this is another what was I thinking moment me and white do not mix <laughs> so yeah I love that and it was only like 25 pounds um, so that is amazing it's just 
such good value so I really really love that. Um, the last bits I got, um, I think I have to say they're my favourite apart from the dress, um, I picked up this bikini um, from, what's it called? This bikini from Accessorize. Um, and it looks really out of shape, I don't know why. But, um, and it's just yellow polka dots, clearly, and it's just gorgeous. They had a deal in Accessorize where they had like three pounds off or five pounds off um, parts of their bikini sets, which is amazing. And I got the bottoms as well, which are so, so cute. And in addition to those two, I also picked up a bikini top in there, which is this one. And it is my favorite, like I'm in love with this. Um, it's just pineapples, which I just, I just love the print, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's those are my like yellowy things and me and yellow don't usually mix. So that's a really interesting one. And um, so I think that is it. We now have an, em an empty haul box. So that'll just go back to having my cuddly toys in it. Um, um, so yeah, I don't have anything else to show you at the moment. Um, kind of on a spending ban for the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm also going to be trying to save um, for, why is my voice going funny? <laughs> um, I'm also going to be trying to save for moving out at some point. Um, so I need to save quite a lot of money. So I don't know how many haul videos there are going to be, um, but it is me, so there could still be a couple coming up. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, I'll try and list as much of the product information as, as I can below, even with the prices. Um, some of them I can't remember, and some of them were bought over the past month, so they might not still be in stock, but hopefully they will be available online, I think, for most of you. Um, so, <laughs> my voice is going today. Um, so, yeah, hope you liked it, um, and I hope you're have, all having a good day. I'm actually filming this on Father's Day, um, so I've just been um, to my grandpa's and out with my dad today, um, and I actually realised that I filmed my first ever YouTube video back on my crummy webcam on Father's Day last year, um, and I did the exact same thing last year, and I've been to my grandpa's last year as well. Um, I might actually make my first ever video uh, public again, just uh, for the last. Um, so yeah, it has almost been a year since I began vlogging, and it's now been a year since I kind of started making YouTube videos, but I had a big break in between, so I don't know if it counts. Um, but yeah, that's my little rambly bit of the end over. Um, so I hope you liked my haul, and I will see you very soon, hopefully, um, if you haven't already seen... Um, my travel makeup bag then you will be seeing that soon and if you haven't seen my what's in my hand luggage video then that will be coming very soon as well and I'll also do maybe a what's in my suitcase while I'm packing overall like clothing wise kind of video and um, so you have those to look forward to or look forward to um, and I will be doing a few blog posts and vlogs whilst I'm on holiday as well so lots coming up from me and I'm really really excited um, <laughs> I cannot wait to go on holiday, it's going to be a great break, so yeah, I will just see you guys later, bye!